Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alicia. If you're new here, I post motherhood content and lifestyle content. Um, here comes Anna. <laughs> Wondering what I'm doing. Both of them. Here comes both of them. You want some shoes? All right, take them into your room. Take them into your room, please. Anna, you want some chewies? Today, I'm going to be talking about um, our experience at the pediatric dentist. Ashley had to get some teeth fixed. She had um, a cavity on her back tooth with an exposed nerve. And um, I got recommended to go to um, a pediatric dentist. I'm not going to give out the name or anything like that, so please don't ask. Um, anyways. <laughs> We get there and everything's fine and dandy and I tell them I got pressured to not be in the room with her and I said that I don't feel comfortable to not be in the room. I prefer to stay in the room and that's my right as her parent to be in the room. <laughs> and so um, they were already on edge because I said that I didn't want to not be in the room with her. And so the lady, um, she was very rude to me. She had, a, she had a bad attitude since I walked in and said that I wanted to be in the room. I don't know if she was having a bad day or if she had a bad attitude because I wanted to stay in the room. Um, Cause like I said, they said it's recommended to not stay into the room. <clears throat> Anyways, so we get there, everything's fine and dandy. I put my purse down on the chair and um, Ashlyn's coat down on the chair and um, Ashlyn gets strapped down completely from neck to, to her feet. And um, she's like completely strapped down. Like she looks like a little cocoon laying on the chair and she's crying. She's upset because she got strapped down. I don't know if it's because I told them that she's autistic and has a proxy of speech. So she, she's nonverbal. She can't talk yet. And I don't know if that's why, um, but they put, they, they put laughing gas on her nose and then the lady goes right into prying her mouth open and she's crying. She's upset. I said, Hey, can you wait just a second, please, to let the laughing gas kind of get into her system a little bit so that she calms down. And she, she said yes. And then left the room. And then maybe three minutes later, the owner of the thing is coming in saying that, um, just making sure that I want my child to get worked on and that, um, we're still all on the same page. And I go, well, what do you, what do you mean? I'm, I'm here. Of course I want her teeth to get worked on. And then she said that the other dentist said that I had a bad attitude. I was trying to tell her how to do her job. I, um, she said I was trying to tell her how to do her job and that I had negative energy and that she didn't think that I wanted my kid to get worked on. And um, at this point, I'm just like looking dumbfounded at the lady and I just start like tears start welling up in my eyes. I'm stressed out. I just want my kid to be comfortable and her to be safe and she can't abdicate for herself. So I was just saying, can you please let my kid calm down for just a minute? Because it was like she placed the laughing gas over her nose and then she took this prying tool and like tried to pry her mouth open. Well, she's got a fat lip right here. Well, I'm sure you can see right here. She's got a fat lip because she she bit her her um, lip while they were they were working on her mouth because she got numbed and she couldn't feel anything. So they, you're not having candy after you just had a chewy. Go play in your room. Nana, can you go play in your room too? Anyways, they were prying her mouth open and she was bawling hysterical, like hyperventilating almost. So I, all I did was say, can you please give a minute for the laughing gas to kick in so that she can calm down a little bit. And apparently that was me telling the nurse how to do her job or telling the doctor how to do her job and telling her that um, I didn't want treatment and having negative energy. And then she told me that I shouldn't. And then the owner of the um, place told me that I shouldn't have um, been towering over her and granted I am tall. I'm five, nine and a half. I'm a, I'm a tall girl, you know, but like I wasn't towering over her. I was literally like standing facing Ashlyn and I have my hands on Ashlyn to kind of like soothe her and calm her down. But apparently that the parents are, I was told basically to sit down in the corner, take my stuff off the chair, sit down in the corner that I could scooch the chair up if I wanted to. And then I pulled off my, pulled out my phone because I was upset. And so I was texting my sister because at this point I was, I was crying and I didn't understand like what, why I was being treated this way or if I had done something wrong or, 
um, what, but I was texting my sister and I was told to put my phone away. That, oh, it's a privacy issue. You cannot have your phone. I'll put your phone away. And then I was basically told to sit down and let the people do their jobs. And I, I wasn't trying to stop anybody from doing their jobs. And my, my poor little girl, she's, she was, was traumatized by the time we were leaving. And I was, I was a little bit too. So I don't know if I'm taking her back to that place or if we're finding another place, but that's kind of the reason that I didn't put out a video yesterday. Like I know I committed to doing vlog vlogmas and I told you guys that I was going to do vlogmas, but I mean, I still plan on doing vlogmas. I just, I, yesterday was so traumatic for me and Ashlyn and we, we just kind of spent the day snuggling and she got a lot of extra loving. Um, at one point I feel like she was a little bit mad at me because I feel like she felt like I let the people like hurt her, but she got her back tooth fixed and that's all that really matters. And um, at the end of the day, I understand that, like, people have bad days and, um, you know, people have bad days. And, I mean, maybe that's just what I experienced because I looked on Google and you would not believe the amount of good reviews on Google. And another thing is I, I, my, my friend messaged me and she goes, I'm praying for you. I seen you walk by. And she apparently was in the other room and she told me that they, they explained everything that they were going to do to her daughter and they let her play with all the toys before they put them in her mouth and let her touch them and, and like feel them out. And like my daughter was strapped to the strapped to the chair and they didn't explain anything. Like, I think that like the little sucker thing that went in there and kind of pried her mouth open a little bit they let her they let her look at that and explain to her what that was but she didn't get to see any of the other tools or anything and like I don't know if it's because they thought that it wouldn't matter because she's autistic or or what but like she's mildly autistic she's not like she's very very like barely on the spectrum so I don't know if I shouldn't have said that or what but they're like well she can't tell us anyways I was told that at one point like so I don't know it was very very traumatic and I just I don't think that I'm gonna take her back to that dentist I might I might find a new dentist to take her to but I just wanted to let you guys know we're still doing vlogmas we're still here um it's just we had a bad day yesterday and so you'll get you'll get another video posted shortly after this one um and another thing is I wanted to tell you guys that I am being more, I'm trying to be more activate, um, active on my um, Instagram account. And my Instagram is ATMama1, all one word. Um, I'm trying to be more active over there. So um, you guys will get a lot more content from me if you follow me over on Instagram as well. But yeah, I just wanted to explain why I didn't post a video yesterday and... <laughs> our terrible experience like I don't know if that's normal when your kid is getting worked on um I've never been treated that way by any kind of doctors everyone's always been more than helpful and it's just I felt like I was I was traumatized and I didn't even get touched <laughs> my daughter she I mean Ashlyn she was she was traumatized too and she was just so happy when we left and then she just wanted me to hold her all day and obviously my kids come first so I was gonna hold her all day and I did I held her all day and we snuggled all day and she got extra loving but if you can see you because they were they were so rough with her like she she bit her lip when she was getting worked on poor baby do you want to show them your new teeth you want to show them your new teeth but, all right, we'll have another video coming for you guys in a little bit. Thank you so much for watching and being understanding with us and um, just sticking by us. <laughs> I want to say thank you. I love you all. Thank you for watching and subscribing and wanting to be a part of our little family and, our, and watch our journey. We love you guys. See you in the next one shortly. See you in the next one. <laughs>